what's good, y'all? Good morning to y'all. This your man, Mondo Ray Moore. Damn, straighten that out a little bit. There we go. Much better. And, um, shout out to Plug Gang. Salute to the real. This is going to be a little different. This is going to be a recap. This is going to be a movie recap. And I will be adding movies to the repertoire as well. Albeit an animated movie. Let's be honest. More than 50% of us, we all grew up on... And we all love, and fans of, for that matter, Marvel and DC. Not me. I'm Marvel for life, obviously, but I read Marvel and DC all my life. I love. I have a lot of love for DC characters as well. You know, Marvel. They Marvel. They just happen to be better on the movies. DC's animation is on point for the most part. TV shows is doing pretty good. It's the movies DC has to step up in. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't stop doing the animated movies. That's your bread and butter, but you can get better in the other department, which I believe they plan on it, because they got a shitload of movies coming out. Marvel, on the other hand, needs some more animated movies. <laughs> it's been kind of it's been kind of dragging as of late. But in any event, this recap is uh Justice War Justice League Dark Side Apocalypse War, which is uh this is the closing of the New 51, New 52 rather, it's the closing of a potential continuum of com- comics as far as we grew up on, as far as the comics I grew up on and was reading or whatever, that universe is pretty much coming to a close, DC's in rebirth mode, so you know, got a whole another variation of origins and whatnot, and other people stepping into the light, you know, I look forward to seeing where Damian Wayne and Raven go, for that matter. You know, Damian Wayne, that's Bruce Wayne's son, obviously. Raven, Teen Titans. I've been a fan of the Teen Titans for years. I had a shitload of their comic books. The team then shifted so many times. But let's get to where I'm, why I'm here, though. The movie, Justice League, Dark Side, Apocalypse War. Um, The first five minutes of the movie pretty much sets the, it sets the stage, sets the tone. You know, if y'all been paying attention, it's been a lot of movies. Those of y'all that have been paying attention, or that's up on it, been a lot of movies up until this point. I believe it started with the Flashpoint Paradox. And you had a host of other movies that was all connected. You know, yeah, it started with the Flashpoint Paradox. Then you got the, um, yeah, Justice League Doom, Justice League War. You know, they had like 13 to 15 movies that led up to this. A lot of people say this is the best DC animated movie they did. I mean, it was definitely the realest. It's not your ordinary teen. It's not your ordinary Justice League <laughs> episode. I can tell you that. The first five, you know, Superman, he's explaining the Justice League and the Teen Titans, because the Teen Titans, they're going to stand, they were supposed they're going to be on Earth while the Justice League handled their business or whatever. But what they didn't know, that Dark, you know, Cyborg, if y'all pay attention, he's made from the Mother Box stuff. So, Darkseid pretty much used Cyborg as a camera. He he pretty much hacked into Cyborg, and he knew all their plans. He knew he knew he knew the whole plan, when they was coming, how they was coming. So he prepared himself. You know, he always we used to seeing the Parademons with Darkseid. He upgraded the shit out of them motherfuckers. He fused the Parademons with Doomsday. So they was like half Parademon, half Doomsday. They he called the Paradooms. And they were no joke. Man, these is probably this is probably the elite as far as I've seen. As far as you know how I be dictator and shit. They got a whole bunch of expendable soldiers. Man, shit. These motherfuckers were hard to kill. They were killers. For real. They killed most of our heroes. Man. Oh, yeah. If you ain't seen the movie by now, spoilers. Sorry. So, you know, Superman led. So... They flying into space. They in the three separate ships. As the cyborg uh, boom tubes them to apocalypse with his trademark booyah. That's when the welcoming committee came. You know, it was like a thousand paradooms. <laughs> Superman. So long story short, most of the heroes get killed. A handful of heroes. Darkseid didn't kill everybody. He had plans for certain people. You know. Stripped Superman of his power and fused him with kryptonite. He left Superman. The only reason he let Superman live and walk around 
So he, he wanted everybody to see. They beacon of hope. They symbol of hope. He wanted everybody to see what he did to him. Man, they made Superman just like us. He was as regular as hell. Lois Lane was more Lois Lane was more than MVP of this movie. I mean, you know, Superman got his shit together, but we'll get it to that. We'll get to that. Batman, that's a whole other story. They did Wonder Woman so dirty. Snatched her arm. Oh, God. Aquaman got split in half with an Omega Beam. John got, man, Queen Mira was fucked up. Oh, my goodness. They, they fucked. They, they ripped Hawkman wings out pretty much. It was just terrible, man. So uh, Superman regrouped. He, he goes. He goes back to Earth. Him and Raven end up linking up. Cause while that's happening, I say no, two or three days after that happened, Darkseid sent the Paradones to Earth, and they killed the Teen Titans pretty much. Everybody except for Raven and uh, Damien. They made it somehow. Damien left. Go back to lead the League of Shadows. You know that's with his granddad, Ra's al Ghul, and his mom, Talia. So now Damien runs. Damien runs the League of Shadows. You know, with Lady Shiva and those people. So they go to recruit Damien. Damien's ready to kill Superman. Everybody's blaming Superman pretty much for what happened. Like I said, Batman. That's another story. You know, Nightwing. He permanently insane because he got killed by a pair of doom, and Damien put him in a Lazarus pit. It just didn't work this time for whatever fucking reason. You know, and the handful of people that started that Dark Side let live, he made them. He just he fucked our heroes up, man. He he broke our heroes mentally and physically. He made them cyborgs. So they had to, you know, it's Superman, Raven, Constantine. You know, the Suicide Squad. They were pretty cool in this movie. A lot of inconsistencies in that movie too. Only thing, and I love be some Harley Quinn. I love that bitch. But damn. How does Harley Quinn survive all the way to the end, merely unscathed? Wonder Woman lost her arm. Shazam got his leg ripped off. Hawkman got his wings tore out of socket pretty much. Yeah. And Raven, she had, she went through her issues in this movie because, you know, her dad, Trigon, who she has in prison, and the little ruby she wears on her head or whatever, but... The headache's getting stronger and stronger because he ready to break free. But, you know, she's strong enough to hold him in there. But at the same time, it's making her sick. So they mount an attack. Lois and uh, the Suicide Squad, they did something to round all the Paradooms up. They didn't let the Paradooms go back to Apocalypse. They uh, they basically they basically sacrificed themselves to give Clark and them a chance. Because that's crazy. When they finally, when the first time they set Trigon free, because he hates Constantine, because Constantine offered his body as a vessel. He said, I have a better idea. He took Superman's body, snapped Constantine's neck as soon as he... Because <laughs> he snapped Constantine's neck as soon as he came to be. Because, you know, Trigon, he hates Constantine. We all know that. You know, him and Darkseid scrapping. They going at it. Damian Wayne and uh, Batman. Man. I'll let y'all see that part for y'all self. I won't even tell y'all that one. So uh, Lois has Batman and has Cyborg. Who, Cyborg, who he turned, who he disassembled, turned Cyborg to his own personal security thing. Also, Father Box shit. Now, the sad thing with that, because it had been two years since that had happened. So Cyborg being there for two years, he'd been there all that long and shit. He couldn't, uh, he was integrated. He was integrated into the father box. That means so he couldn't even be took apart. He had to stay where he was, which that's fucked up. Because he turned out being a big part of this movie as well. So, um, and Superman, while he's inside Trigon, he sees it. You know what I'm saying? He sees Lois, Lois Lane sacrifice herself, and that kind of snaps him out of it. Not only is he able to get Trigon out of him, he also burned the rest of the kryptonite that was in his system, and he was back to normal. Whooping Dark Side ass for a minute too. Got to give it to him. So long story short, they get desperate. They let Trigon out. You know, he tells Superman go, and thanks Raven, because yeah, you know he' about to be sealed up in a void forever. Trigon, he didn't care. He just didn't want to be imprisoned and whatnot. 
he just, you know, I guess Trigon came to the conclusion, look, man, as much as I would love for my daughter to take on my dreams of conquest, my daughter's not me. And my daughter's going to be, she's going to be who she's going to be. She's not me. And he even wished her well, you know what I'm saying. He sacrificed himself to keep Darkseid and himself trapped in the void. That cy cyborg created a boom tomb where he transported Apocalypse to nowhere, pretty much. Now, Trigon and Darkseid, you can't just kill them like that, but they will be sealed up for a while. Cyborg, he's gone, unfortunately. And the heroes, they meet, they get boom to back to Earth. They meet, all of them meet in front of Teen Titans, the ones that's left. They meet in front of Titan's Tower, which is destroyed. You know, Constantine and Flash talking. And he pretty much, Constantine tells Flash, you, gotta, you know what you got to do? You got to clear the board again. You got to create another Flashpoint. It's like he said, you know, we might make the same mistakes, but shh, it won't be perfect, but shh, we, it'd be a lot better than what we got going on right now, because our heroes was left, they were mentally fractured and physically fractured. Darkseid broke the Justice League, he did a number on their ass. It was a good movie for the most part though, man, you got to see some heroes, you didn't get to see too many for too long, but you know, the new 52 was on the way, and uh, Justice League... Dark Apocalypse War. It was a pretty it was, it was a pretty good movie. I think they overdid it on the gore. And uh, as far as Dark Side, when he made everybody cyborgs, I felt he overdid it. Because, I mean, they are heroes. They got skills. You could have mind warped most of them for the most part. I don't see what making them cyborgs. That didn't make no sense. I see if they was damaged in battle. Like John Jones and Mira. You know what I'm saying? Even Starfire, who I didn't think it was anything left of. But on a, I say on a scale of one to ten, I gave Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, Dark Side Apocalypse War. I give it a nine. It was a pretty good movie, and it was the realest DC animation I've seen. So all of y'all that's in there, if y'all in the Marvel DC, y'all know about that. Drop it off in the comments. This your man Mondo Ray Moore. Damn, I ain't did a video this long in a minute. I'll get that y'all in a minute, man. Me and B Dub about to go grab some coffee. Team DBE, plug game, we in the stain. Salute to the real. Peace.